It's a massive industry here that is blocking the main road. And the tanker that is split by two and sank in there. We made it! Hey Nora, we're coming for you! Good morning everybody and welcome back. Here we are in the area Morovali and in Hotel Dua Putra and in Sulawesi. And today it's time to move on. Um, yesterday we were hanging out with the blank sack um, the whole evening and yeah, now we want to go to Kendari. So we are in this area here and our plan is just to go down to Kendari. Good morning everybody. Good morning. We are in Morovali now, heading to Kendari. It was a long night again uh, for us hanging out. Check it out, you guys. We have a uh, gray minions. They're not blue. Oh, this is the actual minion, blue and yellow. <laughs> Just kidding. These people are working in the nickel uh, mine, but not the same one like the one in Sorowako. This one is owned by whatever company. I think the head company is from China. They, they look different, but the city itself, where the uh, factory is in, it looks so different with Soroako. It's a lot more crowded here and it's really, really dirty. And then if you see in the background there on the mountain, that's the mining areas. It's really, really polluted there. Like, it's a completely different world there between uh, Vail and this company here. I don't know why, because if they regulate the same rules and everything, this place could be really beautiful as well, just like in Toronto. And as a result, the traffic is pretty bad. And from all of the stories that we got from the guys from last night, the traffic would get really nasty here because the factory workers, no, the factory and the mine workers get off at the same time. And then the road is too narrow for everybody to go out. So yeah, that's kind of like one of our uh, thoughts from us about this city here. Maybe uh, the company could help them like to enlarge the road or something. So. Because this is still the national road, right? Like they are interrupting the, the travel. Uh, from other people, so I don't think that's cool. Look at it's really populated here, and all of them are working from that mining company. <laughs> like endless of them, the minions. It's a massive industry here that is blocking the main road. How is this? How do they even get the license for this? They should dig a tunnel here for them to use it themselves. It's a public road. Look how much the road got destroyed here. Just for the benefit of their company, it's crazy. Look, like that, that bridge, it makes a lot of sense, it's for them to use. But they're still using the main road too. Doesn't make sense. And the air quality, the cold air, everywhere here is disgusting. Yeah. So much 
much different between the standard yeah, that veil in Toronto and this one. Crazy. Yeah. One is Brazilian owned, the other one is Chinese owned. So different. Oh, look at this. How? Oh, how is this even possible? Whew. Yeah, my eyes are burning right now. And look at this uh, motorcycles inside here. And a tanker that is split by two and sank in there. And, oh my god, what a shit area here. So here's my take, right? Like there is another massive mining company up in Sorowako. The yeah, in Sorocco. Not, not, not a single dusty place in Sorocco. You could drink the water from their lake. Like here, I don't even want to put my feet on the on the water here. What? How? Like my. Yeah, the question is how. Exactly. You know, to, because we know we, they could do it better. Yeah, yeah. How is this happen, right? This company here still got permission. Meanwhile, if the government want to check out the place in Toronto, they could help the local people to live better here by giving the permission to mine this area to the same company in Toronto. But instead, they give it to a different company that destroyed the whole area, and. Uh, taking care of the ecosystem anymore because this is clearly hazard for all of the citizens that live here yeah. look at the garbage the broken road everywhere we did not see this in Sorocco no. what we saw was a beautiful area Sorocco was the best example in the city yeah Sorocco should be a model city or a model village Everywhere in Indonesia. Hey, the ocean. Again, and not that populated. Yes. Because the previous one was not the building. We want to look for mountain road, but it's impossible here because all of this area here on our right belongs to. Mining companies, so no chance for us to go through the area. Yeah, the only was Seba Seba. Yeah, the only was Seba Seba. Yeah, yeah, these two are not, um, it's, uh, those are private roads. There's a celebration here, something. Yeah, I just stay, I think. Acara apa nih, Pak? Nikah. Apa? Nikah. Nikah. Oh, it's a wedding. Oh. Oh, that's the newlywed. Oh. Ah, that's really cool. Yeah. Hello. There's a wedding celebration here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the future groom there. The one in the middle with the umbrella. Oh. I think they're going to pick up the future wife. He's really happy getting married. Yeah. All right. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm going to get married. I'm going to make a big traffic here. <laughs> a lot of palm tree plantation. Yeah, it's starting again. Yeah. I think in 
south is Sulawesi and also west Sulawesi there are a lot of palm trees yeah. and maybe in the center Sulawesi but it's not as crazy as uh, Sumatra. Sumatra or Borneo yet yeah. because we can see like the whole like forest there and the farm yeah. but it's starting that's a bad sign it's shade, but these palm trees are not giving me shade. Like there is a dust cloud there yeah. and it's not settling too, it's so weird maybe they're like destroying the forest for palm trees Shady Bridge. Oh, scary as Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Where is Google leading us to? This road is so broken. <laughs> into a problem. Google is trying to smuggle us in. <laughs> oh my god, oh, Yeah, maybe the road is up there, that's why everybody's going through here. Maybe the main road is messed up or something. No, there will be much more traffic. It's a big city. This is the only way to go in the city. There will only be this much of the traffic that will make it make sense. Yeah, this is a lot of traffic, but we haven't made a left yet. Traffic is not that crazy. Yeah, but this is a lot and a lot of people. You know, it doesn't make sense. And everybody's going through here. It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Maybe just not many people going out because of this. Off-roading into Kendari. <laughs> It's harder to go through here in Seba Seba. <laughs> Careful, huh? 
the, the truck is ready to spill. Look at this you guys, this is 3.40 p.m. 3.40 p.m. it looked like this on the right side. Like you see all of the pollution there coming out from all of the factories around here. This is 3.30 p.m. all right. And that side you could see how bright that is. Like a bit in the far away from the factories. Hold on one second you're gonna see it. Like there it's bright you could see the blue sky. But it's way far there. But if you see to the right side, the pollution is amazing here. Like unbelievable. It turned like 3:40 p.m. into like 6 p.m. right now. It's crazy. it's crazy. And we're like what 43 minutes away from Pendari, 27 kilometers away. Like how do people live like this? Like how? How do the government give a license for them to work here, the factories? Can you imagine how bad is the water way here? How much pollution is in there? Like all the waste is going there. And all the garbage here on the side of the road. Oh my god. My kids are living here. Food, I'm not gonna touch my finger into that food. Look at the garbage like piling everywhere. And then they're expect expecting me to eat. Ah, the minions are out. It's crazy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, suspension bridge for bikes. Hopefully this thing will hold. We This is a big river too. Hopefully this thing will hold. We shall see. We so cool. Yeah, I was told that there was a raft for crossing a river. I didn't know that they built this. Because wow. I was told from people yesterday. That's such a shortcut, otherwise it's going to be an hour and a half longer. I'm not going to touch it. Mm -hmm. The suspension bridge is really good though. Yeah. Not even shaking a bit. Yeah. And I think that's quite new. Because everybody that was telling me, it means that they have not went to Kendari for a long, 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 long time. Because they told me that we're going to need to take a raft. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's a raft there. Yeah, now we're only 22 minutes instead of like almost two hours away. Nice, I like that. Yep. It's on the right side there. Oh, Nilam Homestay. It's this one. Yeah, let's check it out. And they have a store right next to it too. the place to stay for tonight um, today was pretty a sad ride like the way was full of palm trees and the pollution is crazy going to share going to show you on the map where we drove through so we started in Moro Valley followed the main road total trip 
Down to Kendari is around almost 300 kilometers. And yeah, it was really sad because a lot of palm trees there and um, the Chinese owned mining, nickel mine. The pollution is insane. That's our checkered flag. So yeah, this uh, road trip today was not that amazing, um, but it's still eye-opening because we could clearly see the difference between Sorovaco and down here mm. going in direction to Kendari. The difference is insane, like in Sorovaco they have a lot of rules and safety first and they take care of the environment and down here is totally the opposite. Yeah, I hope it will get better one day. And that's it for today. I still hope you guys like our today's video. If you did, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then see you in the next video.